Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-white Louis Vuitton Air Force One designed by Virgil Abloh. And for those of you that are new to the channel, every time Untied LA gets a pair of these Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones in, you know I got to make sure I give you guys a review. We haven't had a chance to do this colorway yet in particular. If you want to see the other ones from the past, make sure you check those out after this video is done. But for right now, we're going to go through all the details, styles, cuts, and materials, and everything that needs to be known about this shoe right here. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ. And this is the DNA show hey. on this channel I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys dope reviews like this so if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there so before we start breaking down this sneaker right here we got to talk about the history first so back in 1982 the Air Force One originally came out and with this year being a very special year of the 40th anniversary it only made sense for them to collaborate with Virgil to go with the Louis Vuitton exclusive Air Force One so I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of hype over the past six months with all the different variations from the museum or the colorways that released to the public the friends and family versions and then obviously these right here so like typical fashion i like to start with the bottom of the shoe and work my way up but these ones have special packaging and extra trinkets that come along with it so we need to go over that first starting with the box right here you have an all brown box with the monogram louis vuitton print all throughout that and then lifting the lid up right here you have a big white nike swoosh right here on the center of the lid and then on the inside of the box right here you got a bunch of white paper that goes throughout to protect the shoes and then this is a white louis vuitton strap that actually goes around the box as well and it has the louis vuitton and the white lettering right here. I'll be able to show you guys in B-roll clips. And then you have a leather white swoosh. And this is actually kind of for a bag tag. And you can put this right through the different brown piece right here with the Nike and the Louis Vuitton Air. And then you can use this as a bag tag. I know a lot of people talk about this and they say they would never use it or they might use it. I don't know. Let me know what you would do with these down below in the comment section. Personally, I feel like this is like a target like if you had this on there you're just letting somebody know what you got inside of your stuff so i would probably not do that if it were me but hey do whatever you want to do another thing that i thought was very interesting and they do this on every single pair they always come with a standard pair of white laces and then they give you a second pair of the same white laces typically you would think they would switch it up and give you a different color or something like that but i guess to have a second pair maybe throw them in a different pair of shoes is always convenient as well and then on the tip of the laces it says lace set right here with the quotes around that and that's going to be the same thing on the shoe which you guys will see a little bit later in the video as well these also come with additional dust bags one for each shoe right here and it's very nice material and then on the bottom you have a leather tab and it says Louis Vuitton Air. And that's gonna be similar to what you see on the tongue of this shoe, just in a different color and a little bit thinner of a leather compared to the leather on the actual tongue of the sneaker. Now starting with the outsole, you got your classic Air Force One bottom with the all white right here. And then going up to the midsole, it's gonna be the same thing, white with the white stitch. And then you also have a white Air printed right here in quotes just above the Air logo on the bottom of the midsole. Now going to the upper, this is gonna be actually more similar to the friends and family vibe because those ones, they came in solid colors like the blues and the reds. And then you saw the general release, or I don't know if you wanna call it a general release, but the ones that came out to the the public through the release on the Louis Vuitton website. Those were more of a two-tone pattern, like the green and white, or the red and white, or the blue and white. But on these in particular, it's just an all white upper. So this is basically like the most premium version you could ever get when it comes to an all white Air Force One, which then is gonna draw the question of the value and is it worth it? We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video and ask the poll what everybody else thinks as well. But overall, this is gonna be a very, very simple yet very clean sneaker. So one signature thing that we see when it comes to Virgil's Air Force Ones in particular, you got that zigzag stitch right here around the swoosh and then the little leather tab just on the back into there now one cool hit that i like right here it says louis vuitton paris in gold right here on the back end around the heel also on the tongue right here you got that leather patch like we we're talking about it says louis vuitton air in gold and then on the inside of the foot you got that same thing right here louis vuitton for nike and then you got the beaverton oregon just below that 1982. now going to the sock liner you're gonna have a nice white mesh right here and on the inside behind the actual insole you got a white insole with the nike and the louis vuitton and the louis vuitton paris kind of ingrained in there on underneath the insole but inside there something that we all love to see the small details the all over print right there with the Louis Vuitton
baton in the gray. Definitely a nice touch for sneakerheads in particular. I know we love seeing those little things when it comes to, you know, lace tips and add-ons and keychains and stuff underneath the insoles or little details that people may not notice. So that's always a dope touch, especially to see something like this on a shoe that may look very simple from far, but as you start to look at it closer, you see there's a lot of different details all throughout this shoe. So now when it comes to numbers on these sneakers in particular, retail on them was $27.50, and that's not $27.50, that's $2,750 for this shoe retail plus tax. Next thing you know, you're spending over three grand for the sneaker to buy it at retail. But everybody's not mad at that simply because what the shoe is now going for roughly ten to fifteen thousand dollars. That's right, ten to fifteen thousand dollars for an all white Air Force One times are crazy. So I'm definitely interested to see how you guys feel down below in the comment section when it comes to pricing on this shoe. But I know for a fact everybody's going to love it, but I'm interested how many people are going to love this shoe. So I wanted to ask that question. I'll always post a poll on my Instagram. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see the results here on the channel. And I ask the people a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. 93% of the people said fire and 7% of the people said trash. That's a lot more people than I was expecting. I was thinking about like 85, 15 or something like that, you know, still higher on that end, but damn, I didn't realize it was gonna be that high. I feel like the other colors that we saw in the past weren't that high, I don't exactly remember. Maybe I'll try to find those on my phone and see if I can look up those results and post them on the screen for you guys. But I feel like either way, that's definitely a very high score and clearly a lot of people like these. Now, is this the most expensive one from the the nine colorways that came out. I don't think so simply because it's just a little bit more simple, but at the end of the day, still gonna be a very expensive shoe, still gonna be a desired shoe, and still gonna be a shoe that a lot of people love either way. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. So after seeing more in-depth looks at this sneaker, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when you think about the quality, the materials, the look, the presentation, everything along the lines with the release, the prices, the resale. Is this a shoe that you would like to have in your collection? Is this a grail? This is something I would definitely love to have in my collection, but I don't see myself spending 10,000 plus dollars for the shoe. And being a size 13, it is very hard to find my size. Like I can find 12s a lot easier and maybe, I don't even know, we might've seen like one 13 so far in one color Way and there's nine to drop plus for, yeah it's, it's kind of rough out here for your boy but if i do ever get a pair i will show you guys someday shout out to untied la as always again make sure you guys use the discount code dna show that'll get you guys free shipping on all your orders i'll see you guys in another video all right y'all i'm out